Governor Rakaza Koroka of Imo State has stated that Haikyo Ikim, the former governor of the state, and Amika Ahidia, ex-deputy speaker of the House of Representatives, did not possess what it takes to compete with him as regarding the task of governance, Vanguard reports. The governor made his comments in a statement released to journalists in the state, by his chief press secretary, Sam Onwimioto. Nage. Com gathers that the governor's statement was in response to the criticisms he received from Oa Kim and Ihedia, over the recent controversial appointment of his younger sister as Commissioner for Happiness and Purpose Fulfillment. The statement read, at the end of the day, the achievements of the new Ministry of Happiness and Purpose Fulfillment will be so amazing that the critics of the initiative, will not only be shocked but will also regret to have drawn the curtain for the new ministry even before it takes off. Ideas are like bullets. And Rakaza Koruka is a man of tremendous ideas who thinks about the present and the generations yet unborn. He does not misfire on any issue, the attendant criticisms notwithstanding. When the new ministry begins to bear the expected fruits, the accolades will envelop the early criticisms. Some people have also talked about Jacob Zuma's statue as a reference case. The criticisms that greeted Zuma's statue were all anchored on the corruption allegations against the South African president. Yet, the fact remains that the man is still the president of that country. He has neither been sentenced to imprisonment nor impeached as president following these corruption claims. We also want to let the public know that the former governor of the state, Chief Ikedio Akim and the 2015 P2P governorship candidate and the state chief Amika Ihedia are the least qualified to criticize Akoroka on any policy or program. Oh Kim was governor for four years and has no achievement to his credit. And that administration could only be associated with the flogging of citizens, including a priest. Today, Oweri has 12 lane roads, 3 tunnels, 2 flyovers, 5 inland roads, 4 pedestrian bridges, street lights and befitting structures, courtesy of Governor Ikoroka. Chief Ihedia was in the House of Representatives for 12 years and ended up being the deputy speaker but could not fix the only market called Kombutu in his ward. Mbutu, and all the NDDC projects that have developed K-legs in the state are directly or indirectly linked to him. Com previously reported that Nigerians reacted unfavorably to the news of Governor Rakaz Akoroka of Imo State appointing his sister, Ajia Lolo, as the state's commissioner for happiness and purpose fulfillment. As the news broke, various Nigerians took to Twitter to register their displeasure and frustration over the development.